Out of this year, what do you think the best Jordan 1 was? Hmm. Like Jordan 1 I grabbed or in general? In general. I really did like seeing the black and white 85s. Those, those were nice. Yeah, that is a good one. The black toe ones? No, no. The washed black. Fi no, wait, wait. Spider-Man. Final answer. What do you mean, final answer? Like, am I, do I, am I gonna win a prize or something? No, I'm just asking, relax. Don't tell me to relax. No. What are you trying to get into? Nothing. What's yours? These. <laughs> Beautiful. Can I have these? Now, the nice thing about the best sneaker of the year, right? And we're not even putting this in the category of sneaker of the year. I'm just putting it as Jordan one of the year, in my opinion. And that's the nice thing about opinions, right? We can all like different things. There might be another Jordan one that, that came out and you love it and you think that's number one. So what you're going to do is pause this video and let me know which Jordan one that is down below. But I figure first and foremost, we had to just give you guys an on feet. This is a beautiful sneaker. And I just mean that in terms of quality, the color blocking of it, you just cannot go wrong with it. My pair got a little messed up and bent a little bit. These just look so amazing on feet. And I mean, now I typically don't wear any type of skinny stacked denim. It's usually wider pants. These, for example, on the slimmer side, but if I throw these black pairs, This is how I'm rocking my Jordans, man. Love it or hate it, looks good to me. But it just goes to show how versatile these sneakers really are. And I think a lot of people like these because they missed out on the Mocha ones, which we all know these go for like buku money now. And of course they are clean, but I don't want to say the quality is any better than Palomino's by any means. Quality is the same. If anything, I personally think the leather on the outer is nice and it seems like everyone, I don't know if there's something different about everyone's pair, but some people really don't like the leather on the Palominos. And that really shocks me. Like, this does, does this look mid to y'all? Seems like they added a really nice untreated leather to these. Not like your typical new buck. The toe box is really nice on these. We have this really nice black leather. There is actually a darker than the mochas. Then you do have a nice sail midsole and a brown outsole. If you do want to pick these up, they are going to run you true to size. Maybe something you want to invest in with your Christmas money. And one thing that a lot of people are complaining about is they don't like this gold tongue and I think it looks good it adds to the color blocking but realistically it doesn't matter unless you're wearing shorts which I'll probably never do personally with these I like to wear jeans with my high top ones and if I'm gonna wear shorts realistically I'm going to wear the Jordan 1 lows now if you do decide to pick these up definitely go true to size just like every other Jordan 1 I don't typically sit like this in real life but I just want you guys to be able to see the shoes <sighs> how's that better yeah I mean I went over all the different Jordan 1s and these really just caught my eye this year just because it's so much more wearable, so much more versatile. I personally am a fan of the materials of it. I guess to each his own with that. I'm trying to think of like some other points that would be useful for you guys if you want to pick a pair up. We already know these are going to look good with joggers. They're going to look good with denim. I showed you guys the olive pants, gray sweats. This is a good investment. Like this is one of those Jordans that you could just buy. If, you, if you're that type of person that only likes to buy one a year, this is that Jordan one you should have bought or you can buy. Just because I even feel like as these age, they're going to look really good. One downside that a lot of people were complaining about is the fact that when you get scratches on this type of leather like i said it is untreated it's gonna show up but that adds character everyone's like so concerned about their shoes creasing and scratching and oh i bent the toe box wrong like bro get over it you're supposed to wear these that's the whole point better not catch none of y'all duck walking around in my opinion the best jordan one to release in 2023 but i'd love to hear what you think is the best jordan one and why because like i said man we all got different tastes maybe there's certain colors you like would, if i had a runner up it would probably be the jordan one washed i like those they i don't know they were just cool to me as much as i do like that white and black 85 highs. I'm just not really a fan of the shape of the shoe. Like it's just really slim and I have a wider foot. So I had those and I ended up getting rid of them and I still have like the all white neutral gray one or is it just all white or is it neutral? I think it's neutral gray. And then I have the Georgetown pair but they're just sitting in a box and I'm just like, am I really gonna wear these? They run just a little too tight. It's your boy Sneaker Life, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday, uploading for the next five days, man. We, we're almost, we've almost completed this challenge of uploading every single day. I'm pretty proud and I'm excited to just be back. You know what I'm saying? But I'll see you on the next one. Run it.